Good morning. Let me read to you from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 through 6. It says, All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. For the more we suffer for Christ, the more God will shower us with His comfort through Christ. Even when we're weighed down with our troubles, it is for your comfort and salvation. For when we ourselves are comforted, we will certainly comfort you. You know, Ann and I try to be pretty open about uh, our journey together with Jesus. And um, through some of the struggles that we've had through the years. We've been together, we've been married for 33 years, June 11th, 1988. And during that time, we've... Um, seen and experienced some amazing things. We've been able to take mission trips together. We've been able to be in Africa and Zambia and Peru and Lithuania. Uh, been to Puerto Rico and have a partnership that we're going to be continuing there. Um, but we've also walked through some dark, difficult times as well. It may sound strange for me to say this, but in many ways, it has been the difficult days and our journey through them that defines who I am today. I also find that many of the opportunities that I have to minister to others comes from the difficult times rather than the happy times. You know, we've journeyed, Ann and I together, we've journeyed through depression, marital issues, almost being fired from a church, the loss of our unborn child, financial issues, melanoma for me, breast cancer for Ann. You know, through all of these times, we've experienced the guiding hand of God. The Lord has walked us through all of these times. And though we pass through the valley of the shadow of death, we have had His rod and His staff comfort us. You know, it's from these experiences that we have helped others who have struggled with marital issues, depression, health problems, and miscarriages. We've felt the presence of the Father and source of all comfort, as Paul calls it here in 2 Corinthians chapter 1. We've felt the presence of the Father and source of all comfort who has cared for us so that we can comfort others. So today's challenge is actually pretty simple. For all of us who've experienced the grace of God and salvation through Christ, for all of us, since we've found the comfort of the Lord, it's time for us to seek those who need to discover His comfort through us. May our eyes be open to see the need around us today. Pray with me. Lord, I ask that you would help us to be aware. And that when you give the opportunity for us to share, even if it's just a kind word, even if it's just a small gesture, help us, Lord, to share from the comfort that we've experienced from you. Help us to share that comfort and care of Christ with others as well today. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, we'll do this again tomorrow. God bless you. Have a good day.